Okay, so the Education and Training Foundation brought its board here today because we wanted to get out of London instead of always being in the same situation with the same inputs because we've got a national remit so we always want to hear as many different voices as we can to help inform our debate. So the idea of coming to Chesterfield is we get to see a fabulous college, we get to speak to lots of local employers and we just get some different input into our thinking because often policy makers can get a bit distracted by the London environment which is not always typical of what's happening in the rest of the country. What we're interested in is how do employers and FE providers, including colleges, work together in a really collaborative way. So moving beyond simply colleges thinking we've got to give a good service to employers, that kind of customer service relationship, which many colleges do well. Moving beyond that, thinking how do we actually co-create this provision? So it's a, a vocational education and training system. Um, and that means things like employers helping design the curriculum, helping to um, uh, design qualifications and accredit them, helping to uh, offer work experience, uh, apprenticeships you mentioned are really important, also traineeships. I mean, I've even been to providers where employers work side by side. You can't tell who's a college tutor and who's a mentor from an employer because um, you know, it's a collective endeavour. I've been to other colleges where they've had new build and they've actually had a consultative group of employers help them design their new uh, capital capacity so that it is going to meet the industry need as best it possibly can. So we're really interested in, in all these aspects of collaborative working. Um, Chesterfield works well with its employers, so one of the things I'm asking about is how do you make that work, how do you keep it strategic so it's not always just lots of transactional relationships but instead it's a, it's a big picture, you know, what does this area need in terms of how its labour market is changing, how the economy is changing, um, what opportunities are there for young people. I've seen a lot of colleges, um, <laughs> I've enjoyed this one a lot, uh, I have to say that restaurants tend to be good, this one was no exception, it was really good. Um, I'm quite impressed with what I've heard about how the apprenticeships provision has grown in the college over the last few years, I think that's really encouraging to hear, uh, especially that the college has got a good proportion of young people doing apprenticeships as well, in fact I met one of them over lunch, she was very sparky and bright and uh, going places, which is great. Um, so yeah, it's created a good impression so far. Yeah, we're really honoured to, uh, to be hosting the Education and Training Foundation. It's their first residential board meeting, their first meeting out of London. And the fact that they chose Chesterfield College because one of their main focuses for their work is about how colleges em engage with employers. And they've seen from Ofsted, they've heard from Ofsted how well we're achieving that uh, here at Chesterfield. And so we've been able to share with them uh, the way in which we uh, engage with employers, help them meet the skills needs of the locality, of the local business to ensure that it's a thriving economy. We adjust our curriculum to, on the basis of listening to employers, addressing the skills needs that they have not only now but into the future. And so we're very flexible in terms of, of making sure that our curriculum meets their needs. Uh, one of the concerns that businesses have is around uh, the ability of colleges and other trained providers to meet their needs and not just supply some sort of very generic training. And we think that we, we're able to do that. We listen to the employers. They're central to what we're all about. They help shape our curriculum.